We're here today in the ball court in Barajonas and very seldom get a chance to thank a person in a lifetime. But uh, we have Tracy Cunan here today and it would be approximately 10 years ago in August that Tracy uh, and myself uh, set up the Fit for Life Club here. And as a result of that, uh, she encouraged me to start running. And since that time, I'm running regularly. And the one thing I always remember from that time was Tracy said to me, you have to make a life change. There are people who go on fitness spasms and they keep fit and diets and everything else, but a few weeks later it's all finished. But Tracy made it clear to me from the beginning, you need to make a life change, and I did that at the time. So I have the one life opportunity to thank somebody that's done me a good <laughs> turn. So I'd like to thank Tracy. And as an introduction, that brings me into the fact that Tracy's whole background is in fitness. And would they just give us an idea when would you have started being conscious of fitness? Or um, Hi, Martin. Thanks for that. Um, it's great. And fun times. I still do a bit of running myself a bit. Um, so 15 years, I would be started up TC Fitness in Ballyhonas. Okay. But um, I also now work in the last year and a half at the Mayo Sports Partnership as the Ballyhonas Sports Hub Coordinator. Okay. But as a teenager, I would have done martial arts. And it was from then I could see the benefits of the fitness. And it kind of carried on there. And then I luckily living the dream, I brought it into my profession. So I'm one of those that very loves their job. Yeah. So, and, and things like that. So. The one thing I remember about any, any class I was ever at that you were involved in or like that is that you did all the work as well as us. Yes. And uh, like, I couldn't believe it. Like you go to other guys and they'd be shouting out the instructions, but you would actually be doing the stuff as well. Yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah, it's the enjoyment of it. And just yeah. to show, I'm not gonna get you to do something that I can't do myself really. Yeah. You know, we wanna be able to demonstrate things and everything. You know, that kind of way. But um, so I'd say the Ballyhonas Sports Hub now we want to talk about today. Okay. And um, the Ballyhonas Sports Hub is a community network of, say, um, clubs and organisations. And what we're about now is to promote fitness and a healthy lifestyle, like you said there, Martin, amongst young and old. So this is what we're trying to do and see where there's a need. Mm -hmm. So there's a need, say, with the um, teenagers, girls especially, that there's a drop off. And then there's the active age. They're not very active. So as you see here in the background, we've activated polls and um, we'll talk a bit about that now okay. in a few minutes. Now, before we, we start here today, we kind of came across a few different groups of people. Uh, and again, we we'll just maybe talk a little bit more. We talked about, we'd say, introducing underage girls to the Ballyhonda Soccer Club yes. and to the GA Club. Just tell us about that maybe. Oh yes, um, so say approximately four years, there's no under 10 girls Gaelic. And the size of the Ballyhonda's population is like, why is there no Gaelic? So me with the GA development officer of the ladies side and the club, we said, well, we'll get together and we'll get some young coaches and we'll try say, why isn't there an under 10s Gaelic team? So now there is after four years, there's 20 girls signed for the under 10s. It's like, because we got together, we worked together and then Soccer Sisters, we went with the FAI, and there's a development officer, and he's come over to Ballyhonas and set up that program, and there was no Gaelic, or there was no soccer team in Ballyhonas of girls, and now we have 20 girls registered with Ballyhonas, and it seems to be growing as well. So this is the younger age of girls, and it's from working together as a community, these things are starting to work. Okay. They're unfolding, so it's great. Now, the, the next level of that, then, is there's a lot of talk lately on, on all media, about the next age group of girls, which is maybe teenagers, uh, that they seem to drift away from sports. Um, have you any input there? Or, or? Yes, um, there was a hackathon that was there a few months back. Sport Ireland mm -hmm. um, came up with this hackathon to figure out, we listen to the teenage girls ourselves. Why are they coming away from sport and the clubs? And we all got together and say, right, we've worked out in reasons why they're falling away. And now we have to see, What's the need? Is there something different that we can um, come across with? Because a lot of them don't like the competitive side. Once it gets competitive and they feel they're not good at something, yeah. uh, I'll give that up. So we say, right, we'll go a different route. So what's very exciting and that's coming to Ballyhonas soon is a thing called Skate Squad. Roller skating Whoa. for um, girls. It's coming to Ballyhonas and Ballinrobe and a um, few places around the country. This is what came from the hackathon. So we're quite excited now to be bringing that here. Oh. So hopefully, so watch the space on that one. Yeah. The thing I wouldn't have been conscious of, but when, when it came up on, on kind of the whole media scenario about young girls 
you would see it, that, that they do drift away. Yeah. And uh, nobody ever knew why, and nobody ever bothered to investigate why, but yes, yeah. it's great to see that that's been worked on now. And, and um, yeah. maybe so start with the fun element of, of skates. That's it. It's kind of like, um, oh, as I said, we listened to the teams, and they talked out to us. And they said the lockdown was particularly hard. Yeah. And it was very good. So this is one thing that's going to be coming out of it. And hopefully, they said, the interest will be something that's not competitive, but fun. You have to have fun. And that's the main thing. Make it a bit of fun, and it'll all come together then from there. So fun and safe. Yeah, because I've even seen we um, have here. <laughs> Colin Murrock was commenting on, on the whole uh, underage football thing lately, and he was saying that even at even at underage now, it's gone so serious about diet and and sleep and fitness and physique and everything else that there's no fun that now you're, young, even young fellas now are just constantly thinking of what they can eat and what they can do, and th the fun has gone out of it now. Yeah, yeah. So that's, as I say, that'll be still going round in circles, but um, so we can just work with what we're going and see what progresses. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully, just going on that, I'm hoping to set up an athletics in Ballyhonus as well. There's no mm -hmm. athletics club. Okay. So um, I'm going to do um, who runs the world, girls, or girls running, walking, okay. running, different things like that to get them going. And I know there's um, boys as well, but you know, that'll fall out where this is the focus for some part of it. And then the boys side, there'll be something for them then once we get that going. And what so. stage is that at, the athletics? Uh... The athletics now, um, I'm in talks with Athletics Ireland, of course, the Sports Partnership and Frank Greeley, and it's just to get the, and the, to get the volunteers and the local GA club would say we could use that facility if we get um, everything in row, in row, in order. And of mm -hmm. course we can use this area here also for certain things if ones couldn't make it up to the GA grounds if they thought it was a bit too far. And but that's in the early process. That'll be early next year that that'll be all good to go, I hope. So. Just remind us again what, what is here, would say, for people okay. who want to keep fit. So people who want to keep fit, it's a great facility here. We have a 900 metre walking track approximately going around the Friary. And there's an outdoor gym equipment that's been put in here the last few years. That's great. And as you see, they get great use. This is a multi-use games area. Um, every sort of games in here. Lately, I've seen hockey being in here, which is yeah. great. There's the soccer, the basketball. Um, I myself teach children's classes and the activator pole walking, and we all work from here. And we're very lucky to have here because we have Fit for Life group, the men and the move group, the couch to 5Ks. So we're really lucky with this facility here. Uh, so it's important that the likes of these facilities are used to their best potential. And just, uh, it's roofed as well, oh, it's covered. So. It's ideal, yeah. it's great. Yeah. You know, it's just um, it's a great facility to have and we're probably the only one in Mayo, as far as I'd see. And even I see part of the yeah. equipment you have today, you have a, a light, a very simple battery light, and you can do a class here at night with, with the simple light yeah. at night. That's it, and we'll be hoping we could get this lit up sometime. Yeah. That it'll, in time that it'll get lit up, because um, it's a good, good area and it's get the best out of this ball court. Okay. So, so we've looked after the underage, right? we've looked after the teenagers, and now maybe uh, the next set is, is the other end of the scale, the, the, <laughs> the uh, what, what, are, what are they called collectively? Active? The active age. Active age, okay. Yeah, the active age. And um, yeah, there's a lot of active age groups and active retirement groups, just say around each village and town. And um, Nordic walking, there's a Nordic poles, which has been around for years. And now there's an um, activator pole walking, which I have them here in the background. Okay these activator okay. poles. So I'll give you a bit of a talk on them, but I go get them. Okay. Now. So where do you get these poles? So you can get these online, but um, Fit Walks Ireland, a um, man called Frank Fahey, he supplies them here. Frank is a man, he's actually from Hollymount himself. He's, and um, he comes down and he um, trained a lot of us up in this um, walking with poles. So this was um, developed in ca by Canadian therapists a few years ago, an adaptation of the Nordic pole, which would be, you can see, which do the hill walking and this. But this is for, say, the active age that might need to improve their mobility and their balance and improve their posture. So, and it, they're great. A lot of physios would recommend people coming back, say, from hip and knee injury to try to get into um, walking with poles. So this is the activator poles. So we have a few classes around the county and very, very popular with men and women. And it's good to see both men and women of the active age, the older age, taking part in this and they're enjoying it. And it's very sociable as well. 
Okay. It's quite a social now, the one thing I, I noticed and with, outdoor. The one thing I sorry for interrupting you there, but no problem. I, I think of it, the one thing I noticed about uh, a lot of would say the active age grouping is they talk about knees and hips and everything going. Yeah. Uh, does does this make it easier on your knees and your hips? It does indeed. And the good thing about this is you can do it from seated. You can do these classes from seated. It's um, helping to incorporate your upper body muscles. You know, some people are out for a walk. Your legs really are all that's been used. Mm -hmm. So now this is incorporating your core okay. and your upper body as well. And you know, said like this, straight away, shoulders up and chest out. Would you like a demo? I would, but just, just to finish on that line, do, it helps your poise as well, does it? Yeah, it helps the posture. That's part of the course or part of the class. That's part of it, time. exactly, yeah. Because um, there was one class in particular, um, it was out in knockout road. Um, man came up, he did a row later. It's kind of like um, wheels, walking. like a walking yeah, aid. Yeah. And this is grand, he was coming over there. But um, gave him a set of these, you can adjust the height to suit. Okay. So as I say, you can sit down, you can stand up. So had him with these and straightened up and he was walking around with us yeah. with these. Incredible, yeah. And it immediately improved the posture. Yeah. And that was nearly one of the first classes I did. And straight away, not just saying it, this is my favorite class out of all the classes I teach. Okay. Because of the benefits of it. Yeah. You can great. see them straight away. Oh, see it straight away. Yeah. And the, they purchased them and everything. Okay. You know, and um, it's just going to grow and grow because it's really good, the okay. activator pose. So there's a um, Nordic walking group in Ballyhonas and we're hoping to set up the activators as well. That's so right. there's a class this week actually for her outdoor week is this week and these are outdoors so we're going to take a group out okay. and see what they like, see if they think they like them. So I'll just move over to the edge there and maybe give us a demonstration yeah. of, of how these work. So, excellent. So, if you look at the handles on the activator pole, there's an R and an L. It's a right and a left. You can adjust the height. Say the exercises can be done from seated. So, there's a little bubble there and there's a line. So, here's some I prepared earlier. Martin <laughs> has, has them and Martin's going to do. So, I'm just going to demonstrate side profile. Loose grip. Chest is up. And we're just going to... So, I'm just going to go one, two, three four. So what I'm doing is right, left, right, left. We'll have a look at Martin there. <laughs> so put your, boom. That's it, lovely. Now we have to get your upper body going. So, and back again. So chest is up. Great, so what is the, you hold them vertical this here. So you think of squish, squish the, the woodworm on the ground mm -hmm. and you keep it vertical and that's over that, you see. And you can, um, I say light grip here and you can kind of lean on these bits here, the, the lip. Okay. So we'll just do one more thing. Okay. You can do lots of exercises as well, just as we're going. You might be practice your squat, okay. that kind of thing, you know, there. So. The feet are shoulder width or hip width, hips are back, hips down, chest up, you can practice that. Do your calf raises. This is just one or two exercises that um, we do. So we were walking around, do some exercises, do some oiling of the joints. So your hands go on top and you're doing a little bit of swimming. This is to warm the joints. This will be during the warm up. And these classes are about 45 minutes. So it's grand and you rest, we stop and then we're off we go walking again. So, and you made the point earlier on that, that it's kind of the, the opposite foot to the... Yep. To the so <clears> your right, put out your right hand, left foot. Yep. So go in and out, just like this first, on the spot. Okay. Now, so left foot, right hand. So just move them together. Oh yeah. Doing a little bit of a dance. <laughs> <laughs> you put your right foot hey, in. Hey, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Super. Hokey, hokey. So now your right foot and your left hand. Okay. So bring that back okay, yeah. and there, go. Oh yeah, okay. Now that's it. I think you do that automatically anyway. Just yeah, the, the and now you've got the mm -hmm. rhythm in that and then you just take your steps. So, but yeah. it's important that, Okay. it's like I'm exaggerating Robocop. I know, okay. <laughs> as you do. There. Okay. But we'll bring you another day on that. Okay, so. okay, okay. And would say on, on the lines of those, so Mayo uh, Sports Partnership, you're doing classes in other towns as yeah, well. Yeah, um, there's a few hub areas. There's Ballinrobe, there's Castlebar, Venture Hub, Bal you know. So there's classes in Westport, Ballinrobe, 
um, Ballyhonus, Knock, and um, there will be other towns coming in on it as well. You know, with the, we've a few tutors trained up on this. Okay. So it's okay. very good, it's great, and it's outdoor, as can be done from seated. Are you so, doing this in Ballyhonus now? We're going to do it Wednesday for the Her Outdoor Week <coughs> and see how they get on. We had done it there, I think, was it last year before one of the lockdowns, you know, when we were allowed outside? But we couldn't do it again because they couldn't have the groups out. You know, so hopefully now it'll be kind of nearly into next year again by the time we get it going because of the weather. Okay. You know, but now the one thing I nearly forgot, you can actually apply for these now, can you? You can um, if you go on the Mayo Sports Partnership website and there will be forms there to look at to download, download the form and um, fill it in and send it in to the email address that's with it. Okay. Yeah. So if somebody wants to contact you, they go onto a Mayo Sports Partnership. Yeah, you can website. go on the Mayo Sports Partnership page or the Ballyhona Sports Hub okay. page. They can contact me on or the Facebook. Mayo Sports Partnership. Yeah, and the Mayo Sports Partnership have a website as well. Okay. So if they want to go onto the website, and the contact details are there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For that's about these. Okay. Yeah. Well, look at I. I think that's a lot of stuff covered. Cool. Well, um, let's see what's coming up. Absolutely, please. Cool. So just a few things that might be coming up. So hopefully when we get to go back inside, Mayo Sports Partnership are supporting an initiative with um, ladies table tennis. We already have a good mm -hmm. few names with that. And as I say, there will be the athletics club and the, as I say, the who runs the world girls. That's mine. I did it all myself. <laughs> as I'll try and encourage teenage girls running. And of course the skate squad, which will be very, very new. And we're looking forward to that. That's going to be very exciting. Everyone would be able to take part in that inactive active that's kind of it it's just going to suit everybody so excellent and that's amongst other things but that's a few excellent. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well there's lots to look forward to there and uh really thankful to tracy for coming out here and, and i know from a life experience of her she puts her heart and soul into everything she does so uh if you want any further information you can contact her uh through mayo sports partnership on facebook or on the website so good. Thanks again for joining us today and for all the information oh. and the bit of training as might, well. Might have been a bit of an overload of information, yeah. but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Martin, anyway, for no asking, having me, and thanks, Adam. No problem. Thank you.